So now that we have a basic understanding how we wire stuff up and how this hardware works, and we've seen um, how to download and upload um, programs, uh, let's do a quick talk about l programming logic. Oh, and this may not be something that you do every day, but if you start thinking of programming this way, when you get to more complex problems, it will become easier for you to understand the process. Um, and think back to your basic electricity world. If you have two switches in series like that, you know that you have to put both, push both down in order for the light to turn on. Well, in PLC land, that's the same thing, but we need to get in the habit of stop thinking about this as electrical flow and start thinking of this as, start thinking about this as questions to ask. When you see, the, when you see this bit right here, what you should be asking is, is, uh, let me uh, erase this. And what you should be asking yourself is, is this on? Or is this high? Or is this one? Or more specifically, one. When you see, and this is all for the X, what we call the XIC, examine if closed, if you're using old traditional style understanding, which means is the contact closed? Is the switch closed? Um, if it is, it's going to turn green. It's true. So if it's a one, it will turn green and say yes. And what if we can bundle a bunch of these questions together, this will then turn on this output. So if I that's the examine if closed or if on. I'm going to just move this and we'll do the other one in a second. So let me select this. So is this on? Okay. Whenever you see it, it's not in normally open contact. Get out of that habit. It is examine if on or examine if closed, meaning contact closed. And if you see that, start asking the question, is this on, is this high, is this a one? And one refers to what its status is in the controller tag. So if I go into controller tags, and if I look, so in this case, if I go into you know, the input, is this a one? You can see one is a zero, one is a one. With that matches that address. Again, asking how does it connect to the processor? What uh, slot is it? and what type of data is it, and then what bit is the screw. And you'll see it's connected via the AENT, slot one. It's an input on the zero terminal. AENT connection, slot one, you know, um, uh, one input, uh, the one terminal, okay? And if it's a one, it's gonna be green. If it's a zero, it's gonna be like this, okay? The other one will look like this. And let me just switch it up a little bit so you can see the difference. And when you see, this is gonna, and so when you see this here, I want you to ask the following questions. This is called an XIO. So this means if we, we see this, this is not a normally closed, this is not a normally closed switch. This is an XIO. 
which means, and let me just rewrite this over because I lost my voice. XIO means examine if open or you know off. And then when you see this, think, is it off? Is it low? Is it zero? So I have not changed the states of the switches, I just changed the state of the bit. And as you can see here, sorry, let me delete now. Um, sorry, um, get the, get that out. We, is it off? Is it low? Is it zero? Sorry. You know, those are the questions you need to ask yourself. And there, that's better. And, um, I didn't change the states, but this is right now. This switch is not made. The light is not on, on the PLC. It is a zero. It is not enormously closed. It's, say, it's saying, hey, is there light going to the, to the PLC? Is there, is there no power? That's what that means. Where, so right here, this is off, this is on, and you can see that this green is true. So, what, so if you see one of these by itself, because this, I want you to start getting in the habit while this bit is called an XIO, that's what this bit is called, not examine, not a, not a normally closed. What this, if I have this logic here, this is considered not logic. Because if this is not on, this will be true. So this is where things can get a little confusing because now I'm going into logic land, not the bit land for the program. When you see something, with, even though this is an XIO, get in your head that it's not logic. So switch is not on, turn this on. By the way, this here is an OTE, which is an output energized, which means turn it on. This is the only command that turns stuff on, okay? So this is considered not logic. Let me go back to the original. So now I have this. And just for the sake of argument, let me go the other way. So. where I have now the connection, that's the A and T, that's the, the, my distributed IO, input, you know, it's data type slot one dot zero or one slot, uh, slot one input bit zero. Where's, now again, if it's on the back plane, so if it's on the back plane, it's local to the processor, what slot is a slot one? Is it an input or an output? It's an I, so it's an input data that's a screw it's turned in, into the bit okay if i see two this is in series like i said earlier but if i see two of these in order i want you to think of this as an logic so this and this need to be true in order to turn this on so both of these would need to be a one in order to turn this on okay if this was a one and this was a zero, this would be a zero or off. So if I see two in series, think of this as an logic. Okay. And so now, so now let me try to, if I do it like this, this is considered or logic. Because remember, this is what we call parallel back in basic uh, in basic electricity. But this is or logic, meaning if this is a one, or if this is a one, make this is a one. So if this is a zero or off, 
this would be on. If this was a zero and this was a one, so if this was a zero, this would be on, okay? So this is considered or logic. So if I have multiple inputs that I want to turn on an output, I need to create a branch because this will allow those different paths. Now, I can also go in, and I'm not going to talk about NANDs and NORs, those, uh, let's just, because those can get a little confusing. But say I have something that looks like this. Whoopsie, got it mixed up. So say I got something that looks like this, okay? How would you classify this? Well, first identify, look, here I got, you know, a couple knots and a couple not knots or positives, but in a very real sense, couldn't I say that, that to turn this on, it's not this and this, or, so let me draw, so an and, so not this, not this and this, or not this and this. Or if I call this this switch A and this switch B, just, just for the sake of arguments, I could say not A and I'm just do that for an and B, with parentheses, or not B and A. See how I just combined logic there? I took my nots, my ands, and my ors and combined it into a sentence. We do this in English all the time. And as a programmer, I need to take basically the English in the real world that someone tells me and turn it into programming language. And if I start thinking about this little general setup, if I need two things to be true, I, I need to put it, them in series. If I need two different conditions that could be uh, either or to turn on an output, I need to put them in rungs, kind of stepping it down. And if I need something not to be true uh, on, then I can use this XIO or this not command. And that's what this would be right here. So if I wanted to, Let me erase this. If I want to get crazy and add a another bit here, you know, so say I call this C, just humor me. I could have not A and B or not B or A. And all I have to do is think of it as and and not C. So as I start going down a process, I can start thinking in my head, okay, if I need three switches to be on, I need this switch and this switch and this switch and not this switch in order to turn this one on. Or this, this, and this. So one last thing I wanna talk about when programming One last thing I want to talk about when programming. So say I want this condition to turn on light and this condition to turn on light. Grab, always grab the bit if you want to just copy and paste. When we st first start programming, you're going to get in your head to do something that looks like this. 
where I have an XI, an XIE, an OTE, an OTE here with two different conditions. Because in your head, you think, I want, not, I want this and this to turn on this light. I also want these conditions to turn on a light at a different time. This is not how we program. Because every time it sees a rung, it's going to say, hey, turn this on and then turn this on. If this can, these conditions are not met, what it's gonna do is turn this light on, then turn this light off. Turn this light on, and it's gonna look like a, a discotheque. How we want to program it, if we have multiple switches and multiple conditions, we need to add another rung like we just did and put all those conditions on a rung. If I have, because if I'm gonna program, I only want this to appear on one rung, not multiple rungs, because then I'm turning it on and turning it off again. And if I have multiple conditions, so say I want my uh, another button to turn this on by itself, or say I want this button to turn it on and this button to turn it on, You know, I could do this till I'm blue in the face. All I'm doing is combining logic. So in this case, it's saying this and this and not this, or this and not this, or not this and this, we'll turn that on. So when we start programming, this may get convoluted, but in for the time being, start thinking about things. If you want, if it's saying keep multiple things on and, and, and. If you want to have different conditions to turn this on, bring in a rung and so or. Okay, it's a this is a little, this is a little fast, but I hope this helps clarify some stuff and explains the bits.